It's a good thing I had such a stellar run last time, because I don't feel nearly as confident in this one. After all, it is the first tactics run of the series, featuring the double crossbow Matic. Which, I, I guess, at least it's a very good item that I'm starting out with. Any sort of turret is, is generally a good choice for a tactics run. It is big range, it is passive damage, all you need to do is throw it on the ground and it'll start to uh, hit enemies. All, the only thing that you, or is required of you is that you stay anywhere near... Actually, even... You can get pretty far away from it now that I'm looking at it. Still have it be active. Now, of course, if an enemy destroys it, that's a problem, but that's... Something of a rare occurrence. Those things can take a lot of hits. No, the real problem with this run is the tactics part of it. Ah. Tactics and me. We're old buddies, you see. We just don't... Don't always get along. Especially on high cell difficulty. Well, you know what? On low cell difficulty... We're, okay, that hit me up there. Fine, that works. <laughs> Low cell difficulty, tactics runs are fine. I would say that, if anything, they might be some of the preferred ways to do it, just because you get such huge... It's very safe. You can uh, stay at a pretty big distance. Uh, and like I said, passive damage. All you gotta do is throw that on the ground, and you can just focus entirely on dodging. I mean, watch, for example. That. Minus that. It's just the problem comes in in late game, more specifically, when it comes to tactics. Because every single enemy is going to be doing pretty much all of your health in a single hit. Malaise is still going to be an issue even if it's not doing that. And there's not really too much for a lot of great mutations to help uh, alleviate that. Like you get with the necromancy, or as I just found out with... The, uh, using Adrenaline or even Frenzy. It's, uh, it, it's just so hard. There's so many great things about tactics, but also so many difficult things. And in, I know it's really mostly a thing with me. If, for example, you're just, um, you're somebody who plays a lot more cautiously and a lot less a uh, hyper-aggressive berserker style, you can probably make tactics work. I mean, the, the thing with tactics is that you gotta be, well, tactful. <laughs> you gotta make sure that you are picking and choosing your battles, going in slowly, and then one quick, swift strike to take down enemies. Not really my play style. Fast and loose. Fast and loose, as you know. But, uh, who knows? Who knows? Maybe I can still have a decent run going on here anyway. Yeah, not too bad. As long as I'm sort of, uh, mindful of what I'm doing. 75% damage reduction, I think, is gonna be pretty helpful. You are not going to be, though. There are also a couple of changes that have come with this recent update, and not only some pretty decent mutations, not too much with healing, but at least with damage mitigation, whether it's the, as I call it, witch time ability to... Hmm? Okay. <laughs> ability to, after a successful dodge, slow down all the enemies around you, or stuff like caltrips, which will also slow down enemies, for example, chasing you, which <laughs> happens a lot on 5-cell difficulty, as I'm sure you've noticed. And also, there's the classic combination of, well, the, I guess, new classic combination of Alienation Acceptance, which I think, compared to the pr other runs that I've been doing, might be getting a little bit more usage here, just because it is definitely going to be... Hmm? Oh, okay, yeah, I'll take that. Uh, because it is definitely going to be a bit more important late game if I'm getting hit a lot. Ah, uh, we'll see. Point is, I do think that this is the sort of run that, as long as I play it careful when I get to late game, I should at least be able to beat the hand of the king. Past that, I'm not really going to... Oh, all right. <laughs> Getting a lot of kind of decent items at the very start here. Huh, maybe the game's just looking at this and being like, well, we can hear you complaining, so here's at least some halfway decent items just to shut you up. <laughs> okay, well... Although this would probably be better. I mean, not only does it synergize well with the very good knife dance that I just got, it also is giving me a little bit of damage reduction too, which is going to help out with the whole, uh, can't take a hit. Well, we'll see. We'll see. As always, this is a very basic type of item, so I hope it doesn't get uh, completely overshadowed by something else that happens to show up. Some, like, magic missile I'm looking at in my inventory right now, and... That is, that is a great item for tactics. Knife Dance seems like it is going to be MVP, if even if I just stick with this very basic version of it eventually. 
I mean, that, that, that happens with these early runs, because a lot of these items, they're simple. They're basic. I mean, uh, as you can see, you just throw it down, and it shoots at enemies. Can't say that's a bad weapon. It's just there's not too much to talk about it aside from that. Front towards enemy, as the as uh, Claymore mines say. <laughs> and, and that's all you really need to know about the double crossbow-matic. I mean, even this uh, whole gimmick of it shoots at two enemies at once is not really something extremely notable. I guess maybe slightly better than something like a heavy turret for crowd control, but I wouldn't really say that that's a, that's a huge game changer. No, turrets are just great. Turrets are just great. They're good. There's not much to say. I, I suppose uh, another... I mean, yeah, obviously, if I'm talking about survivability being an issue, YOLO is could save me. If I am taking all of all of my health in one hit, YOLO mutation does seem like a pretty obvious choice just to kind of mitigate that from happening a whole lot. I'm not too worried about damage. Even right now, tactics runs start out real strong. Because, well, a lot of the best tactics items are only tactic scaling, so if I, for example, got something to replace that assault shield, I'm going to have seven tactics in the second area. <laughs> yeah, as long as you have everything completely upgraded, you can have a, a very strong start. I mean, that combined with the fact that enemies don't really do as much damage as they do late game in, in the first areas. I, I know, uh, what a bold claim to be made. Ooh. Excellently, um wasn't climbing down anymore. Cause of a lot of deaths early game, or even late game as well. Climb responsibly. Uh, okay, but... Ah. I'm taking alienation. I'm gonna try that alienation combo. I think it's going to be pretty effective. Okay. You know what? I'm down. I'm down. Because not only is this... Not only is hemorrhage a fairly decent weapon, it also, again, has some synergy with the... Uh, knife dance that I'm using. Nah, nah. What I should try to do is when I'm just in regular areas, attempt to only use the the turret for damage, and then just uh, sort of, sort of do the uh, dodging around dance that you you know and love so much. Generally, the way the way that looks is that you just um ooh, ah ah. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Just ignore it. I generally know that as like a it's like dodging around in a circle like this. Can't say it's ineffective. <laughs> It'll get you out of a ah! I was climbing on the thing. It'll get you out of a jam a lot of time at a lot of points. I'll say that. I mean, especially with something like the Hand of the King, who, in his big three-hit combo, is very vulnerable to that sort of malarkey. Oh, I'm going into the sewers just for something a little bit different. I didn't even think. You know what tends to kill me when I go into the sewers? Uh, ex bomb explosions from the ugly worms. Those things, if you don't have some sort of way of dealing with them, spread all over the place. And in a very tight area like this, it's not going to be doing you any good. So yeah, uh, alienation acceptance. I think that that'll be good. I, I'm hoping that'll be the sort of thing that'll get me back up to full health and no malaise. It's just, if I make mistakes like that late game, it's all over. Well, as much as I would like cro Corrosive Cloud, uh, Knife Dance is doing everything that it would do and better. Uh, bleed synergies. Bleed synergies are always really fantastic. And bleed weapons can get to that and bleed propagation, which are some of the best affixes in the entire game. So even if they're not as powerful as poison in a lot of ways, still get a lot of really good power out of it. And then, like I said, uh, Terry, uh, I I, I'm, I'm telling you, it's going to eventually happen where it's like, well, the turret's great, but it's just kind of there for a little bit of extra damage. Always, always, that's always how it goes. Oh well. I am going to still be looking for something as a secondary item. I don't really need a, a hemorrhage. Hmm. Hmm? Hmm. Magic Missile is pretty useful for its ability to shoot 
pretty to shoot directly above my head. But at the same time, with a turret, it is fairly easy. If I end up uh, eventually replacing this one, and I'm sure I will, getting a turret that uh, puts down oil is not an uncommon occurrence. It's actually one of the things that made old school pyrotechnics runs so powerful because, you know, you didn't really have to do too much work. Turrets are already extremely powerful and spreading inflammable oil on enemies is is a common affix on them. It's a it's a win-win. You're not sacri you you keep a lot of damage and you're not sacrificing anything to make sure that you got the critical going on at all points in time. Now again, I don't know if I really need two items that are attack focused. I'd like to have something a little bit more either buffing or defensive, so maybe like a shield to replace hemorrhage or a <laughs> Still got that last whack on me. Maybe like a shield to replace hemorrhage or a uh, hook those bow is always pretty good. Ice bow could work. If enemies can't attack you, they can't attack you. I mean, that's a pretty self-evident type of line there. You know, in fact, I'll just replace that this with that right now. After that one little hiccup where I got hit there due to the animation of the weapon taking too long, I think I've fallen out of love with that weapon already. Got to be fast. Got to kill enemies before they can kill me. You just deal with that there. Oh. I am very appreciative of the fact that turrets do still take a pretty decent amount of damage. I think there was only ever one patch where turrets could only take, like, maybe the smallest of hits and survive. And they immediate, and they almost immediately revert that back to normal. Turrets are... They are a... It's a, one of those things where it, it's sort of a... It's sort of been a debate, at least in my mind, as to if turrets are too powerful. There's something that have existed in the game because, well, originally the... Originally the intent for Dead Cells was that it was going to be sort of a tower defense against waves of zombies. Now, I'm sure you can kind of tell based on how the, the game looks and sort of the existence of some of the items, how that would have kind of worked. As well as, you know, hey, uh, zombie horde games. They're big, right? <laughs> uh, Motion Twin was a mobile developer for a very long time. But then that got changed into Dead Cells, but we still got to keep turrets as they are right now. And I do like them. There's something that you don't really see a whole lot in uh, platformers in this way, but they do kind of provide a, perhaps a little bit too powerful of a weapon. Well, needless to say, sort of, uh, that, that, that doesn't really matter when tactics as a whole is perhaps not, not the, uh, optimal type of build to be having it but it's just the passive damage and it's pretty good damage too can sometimes be a bit much Ugh. gotta be careful not gonna be seeing a whole lot of curses hopefully in the course of this run but this is kind of the big one that I could die at there's a lot of very dangerous enemies around here not dissimilar from the way that the fog fjord worked, stilt village worked, when there were a ton of um, yeah curses in that area, and you're forced to take this thing right at the start. Slammers are slammers and bombers, though. Almost more than anything else are what I'm worried about. Okay, there we go. 100% health, no malaise. That's great and everything. Boy, I hope I don't have to do it again. Thankfully, didn't even see a defender over there either. Will you stop that? Ugh. Oh. You know, can't really blitz down enemies quickly if they uh, can't be hit. You know what? Screw the stealthy assassin approach. I'm just, oh, leaving. <laughs> so, should be obvious what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Remember that everything is outside of there because otherwise that's going to be quite the painful experience once I leave this place. 
Look, as long as I throw down the turret immediately, and then also uh, hit everything with knife dance, I should be totally fine. Ugh. Come on, come on, come on. I mean, it's still got to get through here, though, in one piece, and this is... Often getting hit in a challenge rift is more of an irritation, but here it could be the difference between life or death. <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's going to be. That wasn't that much damage that I took, but still, it's uh, it's an embarrassing uh, experience nonetheless to get hit while standing still. <laughs> Throw it up on the counter. I know you got one. Somebody out there has one. <laughs> okay. Get that combo ready. Yeah. I thought I could roll through there for some reason. Okay, back to the... Yep, 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 that's that's what I want. Ugh, in the past, it wasn't... It wasn't too easy to get enemies... That are flying, like, directly above a turret to be hit. It seems like it's a little bit better about that now. I've noticed that when I've been fighting the... The giant. That there are definitely points where... Past versions of the turrets wouldn't have hit the giant's hands. But they do now. Anything, uh, particularly good? No. It's a good usage of my cooldown on the, the knife dance. Uh, cooldown reduction would maybe be kind of a good thing. I mean, uh, turrets, obviously can last as long as they survive. It's not like they have a limited existence that you need to work around. However, it's like if you are moving far enough away, this is going to be very bad, by the way. If you're moving far enough away from them, what what is hitting me right now? I don't... I'm. You know what? I'm out of here. Forget about this. I There was something that was like... Defending? Was there like a defender following around those enemies? Because I should have been able to take them mostly out by... Oh, right. The sewers. I'm, I'm meant to go into... Now. Somewhere else. I guess it's not happening now. Well, let's go. Two folks on running to the ending. Yeah, there was something, because I should have been able to take out most of those enemies before they even started to kind of wombo-combo me. Wasn't quite sure what was uh, teleporting around. Well, you know what? This is perhaps not going the best. Losing out on the heart pretty early. I mean, I know that's why I got it in the first place, but still. It is, um... Ugh, I'm gonna say it again, disheartening. Nonetheless. So, I think the focus is going to be here. Just, just rush through. You can't hit what you can't see. Etc. and so on. If I find even a single piece of food, I should be able to heal a lot from this. Nah, it'll be fine. Mostly fine. Mostly. Sure. Ah, like a potion. I would have been willing to use a potion charge there. It's, there are two things that are very powerful when it comes to survivability for a tactics run. The YOLO mutation as well as the... Oh? Uh, liposuction? <laughs> you don't see that thing as often as you probably should. Um, the YOLO mutation as well as the... Uh, a disengagement. Disengagement would have really saved me there. And would have been better than YOLO as it stands. Let's go. Mm-hmm. How large is this? Okay, okay. Make sure that I don't die to a trap around here. Oh, the sewers. Because going up against Conjunctivius is not the best idea when it comes to... When it comes to working with a turret-based run. Now, I don't know. I was just saying that it usually, in the past, would not really hit above you, uh, turrets. 
but maybe at this point in time it's going to be a little bit better. Hard to say. I guess I will see when I get there, if I get there at this rate. Kind of working without a safety net now, after all. Anything else, anything else. But yeah, that combo that I had going on there was really what killed me. Even if it was just a single hit, I could have been able to heal up the second that I got any extra amounts of... Um, oh, there we go. There's some food. I'm gonna have to deal with the curse, but that's okay. Hmm? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta watch out for the, the explosions. That that was the thing I was worried about more than anything else. Okay, uh... Man, I don't know. This run is kind of a mess, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's so weird. <laughs> that was so weird, that maneuver that I had to do there. But, hey, can't say it didn't work. And I'm not fully up on health, but I'm at least mostly back to normal. So, hey, that's fine. Ah, uh, tactics rounds. And I know I knew it was going to be pretty bad starting out here. I was actually considering doing just post commentary for each one of the tactics runs, but I want to give it at least one try live. I'm not going to say that I am not thinking that it might be better when th there are layers. Uh, th there are like levels of concentration when talking. Let's just say that. At the absolute lowest, we have second person talking to me at the same time that I'm streaming the game. Then streaming the game. Then just regular live commentary with no stream. And then post commentary where I, where I don't have to talk at all. And I tend to play the best then. And these sort of runs, I think, feel like they might be... They might be exactly the sort that I should be doing that with. I mean, if everything else is still live commentary, I think that would be okay. I don't really know. I There's no specific way that... There's no specific format for these type of runs like I've done in the past. Aside from... Uh, try to focus on a single weapon and fail at it, usually. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll try something out in the future when it comes to using a tactics-based weapon once again. A lot of things that used to be tactics only are now dual statted. Not everything, though. And a lot of the most powerful stuff is definitely not. Good and good. If nothing else, I do have a lot of fairly decent weapons for taking on the Conjunctivius. Uh, the turret might not be able to do too much, but everything else that I'm packing will. And perhaps I can just rely on that. So, the knife dance, for example, very good against Conjunctivius. Damage over time, as always, is great for everything, even bosses, because when you have a character that moves around that quickly, the ability to not have to worry about hitting them because, you know, it's just a damage over time, a, a dot that you got on top of them, is, is pretty helpful. It's pretty effective. Ooh, boy. Would it be worth taking another piece of food? I would like to say absolutely. Even if it's infected, I would be able to get rid of the malaise as well as... As well as, uh, the... As well as heal back up to full pretty easily. Oh, come on. And there's a lot of things with tactics where even... <sighs> hate those tentacles. Uh, there's a lot of things with tactics where even if... Wow, is that a two times damage cursed sword? <laughs> okay. That is an interesting item. Interesting enough to take? N no. Well, this is already kind of a mess of a run. Just do a second run. Wouldn't even be all that difficult. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. This is a stupid idea, but maybe I can just kill the Conjunctivius 
before she can even hit me a single time. I mean, I know the I know the basics of the battle after all. And I got range and everything. Yeah, let's just give it a try. Sure, sure. What a stupid idea. I should have at least gotten some sort of uh, crowd control, if nothing else, you know. Here. Ah. Okay, well, there's the first phase done. <laughs> Ah, almost got me. Uh, am I ever going to do a cursed sword showcase? Probably not. That is just asking for trouble, really. Careful, careful. Good. Oh, the sweeping tentacle almost got me there, but... Ah, there it was! I knew it! I knew it was going to be the sweeping tentacle. Okay, let's try that one again. And this time with a very great outfit, if nothing else. Ah, uh, it's nice to see the uh, festive outfit making its way back into the rotation. And yes, you are covered in oil, so... Might not be quite the same thing as the old school version of the Ice Shard, but at least it gets the job done. And hey, there, even the turret's getting a little bit of action in. Which is good. Because, like I was saying, I wasn't quite sure. And yeah, no, it still does have a lot of trouble hitting the Conjunctivius when it's not quite on the same level. That said, still is at least doing something. Maybe it's just a little bit more generous, if nothing else. All right, all right. Sweeping tentacles. I tell you, the sweeping tentacles always get you. Always get you. But with this combo, I'm not too. I'm not as worried about it comparatively. Especially if I can keep my owl up. Yeah, if you can. Oh my. <laughs> if you can, you want to go with double turret action. I'd like to say two turrets, always better than just the one. But it's not always possible to get that. So, instead what, come on. <laughs> so instead what sometimes happens is that you are forced into a position where you're using maybe something a little less optimal. But this time, and especially because I only have, good. Especially because I only have a single other turret, which is not even technically a turret. The Great Owl of War is a power. Unlocked, as per the rules of this run. I know I was saying earlier that there's no rules to this run. Come on, really. There's no rules to this run, but there are. They're minimal, but they exist. You know what, just to make sure that I'm not gonna die here. As much as I don't wanna use the potion charges, if I got hit there, I would have died, absolutely. All right, what do we got going on? The only thing that would be even worth picking up is Lacerating Aura, and no, no. Ugh, I don't know why I decided to- well, I didn't- I didn't decide to go for this boss. I accidentally chose it out of the- because I was running away after losing the heart. It's a- it was a rough decision, but hey. I mean, it was not really a rough decision to run out of there, but it was a rough result from that decision. Also, hey, thanks for at least giving me this, if nothing else. Sure. Lose out on the 75% damage reduction, but more stats means more killing potential, and boy do I need that right now. The legendary repeater crossbow is working to give me poison synergy, but it's not like it's the best weapon. It's one that I haven't really looked at too often since it got a revamp. And is normally thought of as more of a survival weapon, at least in my mind, given that you're based it's based around 
holding enemies in place, sort of like the Nutcracker. Sort of like a ranged version of that. It's just, hey, you know, it's uh, any port in a storm, I guess. And Poison Synergy is fantastic. Anything that gives me a little extra damage is also going to be fantastic. If I got something like an Alchemic Carbine, maybe that would be more worth taking, but aside from that, I think I'm probably going to be sticking with this thing for the long haul, unless, like I said, some other form of poison shows up. Oh boy. I mean, aside from that, hey, maybe not the best thing in the, in the previous fight, but at least it got a lot of hits off the Double Crossbow-matic. So, I guess I can't be too disappointed in that. It's just, uh, I highly recommend it. It does so much more damage against Concierge, who always stands in one spot, ready to just take a face full of turret bolts over and over and over throughout the entire fight. As exceptionally effective because, well, it's got the range. Oh man, will you just get out of the range, that thing? Speaking of which. It's got the range. It's gonna go through the invincible. It's gonna go through the uh, damage barrier. Everything like that. No, Conjunctivius is just a bad choice overall. You want something like the, you know, the knife. Knife dance is pretty good against Conjunctivius. Lacerating aura, similarly. Just a very good ranged weapon. Does wonders there. I wouldn't really exactly say that the Ice Shard is great in that fight, but at least with the big arcing and the fact that you throw three, three Ice Shards down at a time, you do get some... It's pretty easy to hit the Conjunctivius. And with the way that this run has been going, I do think that... Ooh, that was close. I do think that getting a form of crowd control is going to be important. As much as I would like to just go for pure damage and nothing else ever. <laughs> what do you got? Nothing at all. Oiled sword, it's like, I, I don't know. <laughs> you could maybe make a case for that if I was working with a brutality based run and going only ice shard, but here, not so much. There we go. Even with a lessened amount of ammo, you still you still do get a lot of damage using this weapon, as well as a. Uh, oh, I didn't even realize that my olivore also has inflammable oil. Oh, that makes it even better. Um, because not technically. Oh come on! This game is this game is maddening. Okay. So, there is a food shop in this area now. It's just, my god. <laughs> Gotta survive until I get there. I have no idea where it's going to be either. It's just, man, oh man. Can't take a hit. You can't take a hit in these runs, and this is the point in time when it really starts making a difference, because... Good. Uh, because it's like... Uh, this sort of thing starts happening, basically. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I just, I don't really know how to get a tactics-based run working in... Okay, that work. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Yes, it is okay. Fine, dandy, just peach keen. Because alienation is going to heal me quite a bit in this upcoming area. Provide that I don't die to curses, as always. Which is a caveat in every single circumstance on high cell difficulties. I knew that this was going to be pretty useful, but as always, you never know when exactly you're going to be getting a... I thought so. You never know when exactly you're going to be getting a piece of food. It's entirely random when they're going to be appearing, and it's generally not when you want them the most. <laughs> you know, I really think that Ice Shard is probably going to become my main way of doing damage, at least for right now. Repeater Crossbow is great and everything, but this is so much faster, and I have so many ways to get oil on enemies. As well as just uh, some water hanging around. 
which generally is not something that you think of as being all that important, but it definitely makes a difference here. Okay, this is gonna be the arena I choose then, I guess. Ugh. Owl? Did I get hit somewhere? I didn't even look, but my owl apparently is not active. Okay, it was probably from that crystal. That's usually how it tends to go. And only 20 tactics right now. That's, uh, worrying. But as soon as I can get my great combo set up, don't have to be relying only on the weapon du jour for damage. I knew it was gonna happen. I knew it was gonna happen! That it's like... It was going to very quickly become some other type of run. But at least you can see how good a turret can be as far as passive damage goes when you're not jumping all around everywhere. It is most definitely very good for for keeping enemies off of you. I mean, the difference between something like the Great Owl of War, which is a good weapon and everything, but getting hit is... N avoiding getting hit ever, especially knowing that there are a... There are, say, like, the crystal enemies. It's like, that's that's a, a tough ask. Sure, it's nice having a turret that follows you around, but sometimes you want something that's a little bit more permanent. Something that's going to be there to deal with enemies regardless of if they manage to get a couple pot shots off on you. Naturally, ideally, that would never even be a problem, but can't really hope for... But you can't really expect that to be a thing. Okay, as much as I don't really want to get cursed... Oh, hell yeah, I'm getting cursed. I, I need the healing and everything right now. Probably not going to be going into the cavern, though. That is, that is a little bit still out of my league as far as the sort of run that's happening right now is going. Okay, okay. Oof. Get those guys attracted to me. Nope. Unfortunately, that does mean that... Yes, those things, those things. The, I do have to watch out because those flies, I've said before, will send an electrical field directly into your face if you're not careful. Thankfully, I was at least some form of careful there. All right, one more, one more. <sighs> well, I've avoided death for at least five more seconds. Now, if I can go buy the potion charge that I so desperately need, I should at least be able to survive more than those five seconds. Anything else new from you today? Oh, as much as I would love to go for an alchemic carbine, I think I'm covered. And besides, I need to save up money for the eventual food shop, which I know exists in this area. Trust me, this is not some sort of a wild delusion of mine. But I imagine Patch Notes saying that there was a food shop in here. No, it's somewhere around. You, probably. No, just more cells. Okay, fine then. It, it's right before the exit. Uh, cavern. I mean, even if I got through the cavern, I really don't think that I would be able to get through the, uh, the giant fight in one piece. Because in that place, you tend to take at least one or two hits, and... Especially if you're not really using a, a, uh, shield when you're going in there. Giant is pretty well countered by a shield, but it's not... It's not essential. Right now, I would say it's essential. Oh, the, I guess the owl was just waiting outside for me. Good. Let's go. Uh, Hand of the King. Hand of the King, I do think I'm going to be able to get to. It's just nothing past that. Nothing past that. It's just going to be, especially if I even get to the final, final boss fight. Oof. It ain't looking good. We'll take that, though. As much as I would like to take the necklace for the 75% damage reduction, I do think that buffing up the main weapon of the run is probably going to be a little bit more useful. That is, you know, as nice as Ice Shards is, the, the 
Ammo runs out way too quickly for it to be very good. <laughs> no, no, no. I want to keep my bread and butter basic weaponry around here and ready to go for when the robber hits the road. Should probably go back there. Oh, of course. So if I want to go back there, now I need to um, make the track right through the uh, ball and chains again. Balls and chain. Perfect. I love it. What is that uh, weapon down there? Nothing I even want. Okay, never mind. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ah, uh, this is... I mean, it is as rough as I knew it was going to be. There are some runs where I'm pleasantly surprised where it turns out to be much easier than normal. This one is not of that sort. If I can avoid getting hit for the rest of the run, I'll be totally fine, but come on. What sort of madness am I speaking on that point? Did I lose my owl in some way? It looks like I did. Well, that's too bad. Let's get that 75% damage reduction. I know in the next fight, I'm probably going to be hurting for that, most definitely. I'm not quite sure if I'm getting hit by enemies, because I... Or if there's some sort of, like, bug with the owl, but I feel like I shouldn't be losing the... Alright. <laughs> but I feel like I shouldn't be losing that thing as much as I am. Like, it's just piecing out in some important fights here, but I'm betting that I'm probably getting hit by a... by the Crystal Elite, and that's... that's where the issues are coming in. And I'm just happening to, I don't know, rally up the health enough so I'm staying at 100%. That's the only thing I can really think of. Hey, extra curse chest. Well, blessing and a curse. Literally. See what I did there? <laughs> Let's go find a couple more enemies. This should be totally okay to take care of, given how the rest of the run has been going. I mean, if I'm getting hit at this point, I'm dying. And I gotta live like I'm dying in, in that case. Tim McGraw would be proud. Okay, hook those bow. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm? Ah. I do like it. But, like, I'm gonna... I, I want to keep the ice shards. I want to keep the repeater crossbow. Repeater crossbow is going to be for more important fights when I run out of damage on everything else, but I'll keep it available just in case. There is still quite a good possibility that I might end up just taking it anyway because having two main hand weapons is generally not a great idea. Even if the even if the second one is mostly here just for uh, supporting the rest of the run, I don't know. I don't know. I'm looking at it right now, and I'm just like, you could do. Uh, wait, wait, no, that's just the, what I have right now, <laughs> except in a slightly more or less powerful form. Magic missile, on the other hand, could be quite good. I mean, it's a great item. Period. Even better than the ice shards, perhaps. As long as I can get the 100% damage on poison from it. I, I don't know. Obviously not a problem with the weapon I'm using right now. It already has that on there. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. Get out of here. This wouldn't... At the same time, it's like these are all mainstay weapons. And I'd like to, if possible, go for a at least a something a little bit different if... Uh, if the weapon du jour is going to be sort of milk toast, uninteresting type of uh, type of affair, so I might just stick with what I'm using right now, just because it's it's different. It's a little bit unusual. Thank you for not hitting me with the electrical wire. I was worried there for a second that I was going to have to wait another 30 seconds to get my owl back, which I would have been very sad about. Okay, is there a trap hallway? No. I should be able to take out... Although I do see a knife thrower up there. Oh god, I hope I don't die to that knife thrower. This is the last curse 
this is not going to be the last curse I, I take because I'm going to be um, going into the five cell area and probably going to need to get cursed just to heal. Just to feel, man. <laughs> no. Uh, okay, if there is another enemy coming up here, I can... Okay. Well, I mean... Yeah. <laughs> It does so much more damage. It has the oil synergy that I like. I'm gonna make this thing work. I don't know. This is... This is strange. In some ways, seeing Ice Shard, seeing uh, Pyrotechnics is a very classic type of run right now, isn't it? Okay. I know you're coming here. Or no, I guess I did actually kill it this time. Good, good, good. It does not make me any less fretful, though. One enemy left. And like I said, that's the last, uh, well, curse chest that I'm going to take in the game. I'm probably going to get cursed in other ways, but for right now, this is at least effective by itself. Go back and grab that alchemic carbine would not be the, the worst option either. Oh, you know, the reason I might have been losing my uh, owl could have also been due to taking darkness damage. Didn't even really think about that. Oh my god, the amount of enemies here. Uh, get out. Okay, well, and there's another way to get cursed if I want to uh, make the prophecy come true immediately. It's, uh, it's right there now, isn't it? All right, all right, all right. You know, it, it even could be a pretty decent take. Just go take the Hokuto's bow along with this because the fire is going to get buffed up from the pyrotechnics and the poison as nice as that is I don't know if it's all that necessary I'm just trying to go for as much glass cannonry as possible due to the fact that this is that sort of run this is the type of run that is going to benefit from just just going all in on damage as much as I possibly can not even worrying about anything else oh you there goes the owl for another 30 seconds, but that's fine. That's why I got my good, good friend, the turret, that is technically supposed to be the focus of the run around here to make sure it's backing me up. This is a very vertically oriented level, after all, and turrets do well here. When my uh, bird buddies are not helping out. As long as I run through here fast enough, it should be fine. Yeah. And moving fast. That's always the uh, the order of the day when it comes to using... Or trying to get through the slumbering sanct. Sepulcher. The other S. The other area that starts with an S. <laughs> alright, alright. And we're good. 60 kills. I'll grab that real quick. Give one quick look around. Oh, I guess it wasn't even all that good right at the start there. Didn't even need to worry about taking it in the first place. And I don't know. Let's just, let's not even worry about taking anything else and just get on with the run here. This should be totally fine. If I can avoid getting hit in this fight and blitzing down the timekeeper fast enough, it's not even going to be a... Yeah, sure. It's not even going to be a problem. Can just uh, get in, get out. And not fret. Down one potion charge, but otherwise doing pretty good. And as soon as any food appears, that will be very important. You know, in the past, the... Uh, in the past, turrets were super overpowered in this fight just because you were able to block all of the shuriken hits with that. I don't think that works quite in that way anymore, right? Nope, not at all. <laughs> nice. <sighs> That's why tactics fights are always very good to bring into this one. It's very easy to get a perfect fight here. It's just... Uh, getting here with a tactics run in the first place is... Something of a tall ask. Oh, this is poison. 
Yeah, but I lose out on one stat, so is it really worth it? The answer is no. Get out of here, you. Wings of the Crow if I want to go full bird mode, but that kind of uh, ruins the whole point of the run. <laughs> Turrets are still pretty good, though, for blocking enemies when it comes to... I kind of like that, but no. <laughs> Uh, turrets are still pretty good when it comes to blocking enemies if you're going into the Slumbering Sanctuary because, well, the... Yeah, there we go. Uh, because, well, the, um, golems can't punch through them. They'll stop punching when they come up against a turret, but that's, uh, generally not what I tend to get hit by. Punches I can deal with pretty well with those guys. It's their ground slam that always catches me off guard. Well, I guess... That's sort of the appropriate way to start out this area. I'll, I'll count it. Alright, as I've been saying before, when it comes to... Be very cautious in these areas, and then... But don't actually do that. Because what sort of idiot is gonna... Wants, wants to win a run? Okay, okay, okay. You can't duck while shooting pyrotech. No, no. I knew that, I just couldn't remember. Thank you, Owl. Couldn't remember if that was the case. It does nullify the catchers pretty well, if you can get that working for you. What else we got? Boy's Axe. I mean, could be nice. Hold enemies in place while the turret works them over. Would be one, one strategy. It's just, everything I got going on right now is... It's not ideal, it's working. Good. As much as I don't want to get cursed, I will absolutely do so in this area right now. As well as get as much money as possible, because I do think there's still... As much as I like the build that I'm working with right now, there's room for improvement. And I do think that something like a uh, shop could be very useful, especially in the 5-cell area, if I choose to take it. Anything? No. Boy, it is just like chest junction around here, isn't it? Well, hey, if I'm looking to upgrade something, this would be the place to do it. You want to give me something good? Not at all. I mean, again, the poison, great for setting up synergies, great for having future fights be all like the... Ah, why did I go back up on top here? That was such a bad idea. A cavalcade of errors on my part there. It's just, I don't know, I saw these two Inquisitors down here, and I'm like, I don't want to deal with those guys. I'm going to go upwards, not even thinking about what that would actually entail. Ugh. Would this be at the time to use another potion charge? I mean, I'm holding out hope for a piece of food, but that's also... Maybe not the best idea either, what with the whole everything else that is going on here right now. There we are. Ah, just do it. Like I was saying, I really am uh, pulling for just the Hand of the King win on this one. I'll see how anything else goes past this point. It's just, that's going to be the goal. And that's about all. All right, all right, not even a piece of food. Please get my turrets back up. I need them so badly right now. I am very sick. Yeah, I should have seen that coming. I mean, as much as I would have liked to have not seen that coming, it's just... All right, all right. And in about five seconds, I am going to be attacked by a very angry Guardian Knight. No? Oh, he didn't actually see me. Well, there, just because I want to. When I, when I can, when I have everything up and ready to go, killing an enemy is pretty trivial. Just, uh... Not always the most possible thing. It's funny that I am running into issues with, uh... The cooldown on this weapon now really didn't think that was going to be happening because usually 
these things stay up for longer. But I guess, you know, hey, with the whole hyper berserker style that I was talking about before, it can uh, perhaps not work out quite in the way that you would like. Because you're just running away from that turret so often. It's something that certainly works. Okay. All right. Let's go. We'll do some out. And then past that point, I'll at least be back at full health, if nothing else. Well, it's just a, such a heavily risky type of play. But the rewards are worth it. It's malaise as it's you know malaise cure as well as anybody else want to come here? I got the turret set up. It's malaise cure as well as a lot of healing. Okay, well with the curse taken care of, I it's a good time for it. Oh. This guy's gonna have somewhat questionable sight, I think. <laughs> My helmet's too big, I can't see around it. I'll just get a smaller helmet. No! You know the stats on this goofy looking thing? <laughs> Anything else? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. Just seen that coming. Can I at least, like, rally up a little bit more health? The answer is a little bit more. Like, almost an insignificant amount more. And is that with 75% damage reduction? My god! This game sometimes. Go, turret! <laughs> Thank you. Oh, not quite as good as, uh... A living creature, but can't say it's entirely ineffective either. 32 points of tactics. I mean, I should at least be in a pretty good position when I get to a boss fight, I guess. Gotta get there first. Oh, actually, I'm, I'm noticing right above me right now. Let's just... Oh my god, just get out of here. Just get out of here. Don't even worry about it. And then I, I think that... Yeah, uh, what's going to be the best way to go about doing this? Well, first off, make sure that I got the owl up. Second off, switch out you. Definitely want to keep you. All about that. Down the potion charge. I know it's not a great idea, but I'm just... I'm going for the boss at this point in time. Everything else be damned. And this should be the sort of ideal setup of items to at least, minimum, get me to that point. And since he always goes for the big swing, even though he skips his first phase otherwise, he can at least get a lot of... ...damage from that alone. Mm-hmm. No, oh, right in the... No! The titular weapon going right into the drink there. Ah. ah okay, okay, okay. It's working. It's working. Oh, these things can do even more damage than the boss sometimes, so... Gotta watch out for that. The Hand of the King, unfortunately, is the one character that can very much destroy all of your turrets very easily. Making them somewhat less effective. Oh, come on! I was wondering if I was going to get a fight here without even needing to worry about that, but... <laughs> he did get one Mega Slam off. Yeah, Hand of the King's sweep will really nullify a turret game, too. I did forget about that. I mean, it's not even so much... <laughs> It's good, but you do have to make sure that you're watching your, um, your, uh, uh, cooldowns on the turret, certainly. All right, well, this is... Uh, at least it's successful. At least I can count this one as a moderate 
to okay success. Everything else, it's like, I don't know. Well, let's kind of switch back to this because I am going to try to get cursed in this area if I possibly can. I guess. And, uh... See what's a crack a lacking, <laughs> I, I suppose. What a what a mess. I mean, you know, I, I said before, there are some builds that you're pleasantly surprised that you think are going to be kind of bad. You get pleasantly surprised by. There are some builds that is like, oh no, that was exactly what you thought it was going to be. This is that second variety. Well, at least I should be able to take out that librarian pretty easily if I so choose. In fact, I can just do... Oh, boy. Nope. Good. Good. Denied. I was hoping that the turret was going to get it there, but... Uh, yeah, I didn't quite work out like I was expecting. Turret, I'm sure, can probably hit a librarian. It's just... There are many other factors going on as well right now. In fact, uh, this would be the time. Thank you. Thank you, turret. Hello? I knew it. Festive, you know, festive outfit, it's good luck to have this thing on. Definitely. If you possibly can, try to use this as much as possible. It's, it's, uh, it's good luck. It makes the game more lenient to you. <laughs> None of this is true, but I'm saying so anyway, because I just love the stupid gaudy festive outfit. A lot. Not even December yet. <laughs> Soon, though. And then it will be very fitting, as far as an outfit goes. Anything that I want to switch out here. Oh, I got fire, poison. It's not way more powerful. What I would really like to get is something along the lines of uh, minus 25% damage. That sort of extra little bit of survivability, I think, could be just kill him, kill him. Okay, thank you, thank you, Owl. That sort of extra little bit of survivability could be very good. Well, I guess I got a second shot anyway. Food shops appear in here. No. No, no, no. You only get upgrades for this. Minus 75%? No, nothing, nothing. Inflammable oil, I guess. But I already got plenty of... Oh, yeah, Zaglitch. Well, you can't really uh, climb up there. Okay, well, I do want to go eat that piece of food, but I do also want to scout out an area where I know I'm going to be able to kill enough enemies trivially before I, uh, before I get cursed. Because that can be a scary proposition, let's just say. What do you got before I continue exploring around? No! No, you had your chance! You had your chance and you failed in the exact way that I thought was going to happen, and then it did. Alright, come on. This is a full heal, full malaise clear, reset back to zero, minus the fact that I, you know, the, the many other issues that come up with... Oh boy, what's that? Yeah, he, he does see me, okay. 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 Anybody else? Real quick? Oh, librarian. Librarian flanked by two defenders, no less. Can I at least get rid of the second defender first? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 oh no, oh no. Oh yes. Let's not fight you. At least until I am no longer cursed. He is guarding the other elite slammer up there, which is cool. It's like getting to the end of this area. The microcosm of, uh... The end of this area. I hate those librarians. I'm so glad that that was already taken out by the the turret. Turrets, they're great. They just they they can get into spots where you can't and take out enemies trivially. Poison them and okay. I, yeah, I want to keep the 75% damage reduction. But then again, did you see what happened when I had the 75% damage reduction against the... against that one Inquisitor? It wasn't that great. It didn't work out as well as I wanted it to. So let's just... Let's just take the alien key and get out of here. 
Well, we're coming down to it. I'm, I guess, in a good position. Minus the, uh, the potion charges that I'm missing, all things considered. It's like I still got my... I still got my uh, heart. I got a decent build. Box Elite is scary, but... You might be able to deal with him just fine. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. I actually like that. Almost up to 35... Mal er, malaise. Almost up to 35... Uh, tactics. Might even be able to hit there if I get really lucky. It's... It's weird that this is not going as bad as it might. I've, you know, I've probably actually been more confident with runs that were going worse, which is a, which is an interesting thought. So, I guess there is definitely something to be said about that. It's it's kind of working, kind of. All right, well, that doesn't mean that I am anywhere remotely close to done yet. Okay, the bird hears me, I guess. Just gotta, just gotta take this real careful. Hey, Explorer's Instinct, great. I'm a fan. Not that I'm really expecting to get too much use out of it. 10,000 health, which is pathetically low right now. And not really anything else left to go. So get up here, you, since I know you can see me. Should probably start, like, getting that sort of strategy in place. Where enemies are going to get alerted to me, of course. But at least they'll take a lot of damage just from the... The little bit of... The, 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 the sort of first strike that I'm getting with the... The turret. And then when they come up to me, let uh, even more damage come about due to the owl. It's all good. All right, all right. Still a little sick. Um, I don't really want to uh, mess around. I, I didn't want to get rid of that food, but at the same time, it's like... Couldn't really open the door. Or maybe I could have, since I was at full health that it wouldn't have allowed me to take that piece of food. But I guess I didn't really want to um, test it anyway. Uh, okay. Thought you were going to jump at me. <laughs> I guess not. Yeah, I think I'm going to end up going back to the shop to get an up to get one final upgrade for the turret even though like i said it's it's a very milk toast weapon it's a very milk toast item it's not like it's real bombastic or weird or crazy or interesting it is still good it is still a good worthwhile extra little dps that you're going to be getting that's going to be helping you out during your run certainly and that i mean come on that's worth its weight in gold sometimes. Not everything needs to be some sort of wacky nonsense type of weapon that has some sort of crazy critical to fulfill. Like, hey, it's a whoopee cushion that you hit your enemies with that does extra damage if they're poisoned. It's like, no, no, no. Sometimes it can just be something simple. Just a simple, regular weapon to get some use out of. Ew! Are you kidding me, dude? <laughs> I, I like. I, 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 uh, get me out of here. I'm sick of how that. I, I'm sickened by how that went down. <laughs> that was just embarrassing. And it's like I did. I did manage to not get hit by the electric electricity at first, and then did it anyway. I was just trying to roll past the failed experiment to get in there and uh, do damage because obviously two guarded failed experiments like that was not really going to be doing me any favors. And yet I just, I failed it in every way possible. Taking of course an absurd amount of damage, as you do, and potentially putting the run at risk. 
Just because I wouldn't have maybe just abandoned my plan to go back in that door and go around. If I just did that, like if I went back here, because I opened up the door over in this area, right? No? Uh, one of these areas. <laughs> no, I didn't open up any of these doors. That one, I guess. It would have been totally fine if I just didn't... Uh, if I just went around. I mean, it's not like I'm trying to speedrun here or anything. It was just a bad play on my part. Which is disappointing, of course, but I... I don't know. I mean, it's hard to say that I would have even gotten any amount of usage out of the that potion charge anyway. Probably would be dying too quickly, to be honest. Okay, okay. Well, at least we're going to see the boss. And I'm not going to make any promises here, but with this huge amount of... All right. With this huge amount of tactics, I feel at least pretty confident that I'll be able to get through the first couple th phases, no problem. Now, past the fir first couple phases, <laughs> no, not at all. But, at least we're going to get somewhere. At least I'd say this is mostly a successful run. <laughs> mostly. I still, have the, I still have the heart, of course. Still got this engagement. Let's throw on dead inside, why not? I guess support would be the one to get, but that's, it's, maybe it could actually be useful, because a super, the final boss does get a lot of damage reduction, which can be a problem, but you can beat through that if you just have enough DPS. So maybe going for just tons and tons of extra damage rather than a little bit of extra survivability could have been a better idea. Well, I guess we're going to see right now. Really, I just want to watch out for the bombs there more than anything else. Okay. One more. Yeah, it's, uh, it's working. As long as I can just continue to not get killed stupidly, it'll be fine. Because those bombs that fall from the ceiling, they don't do a lot of damage, but they do enough damage. Good. Like I said, you know, if you are very on point with the with the DPS, it's like you can get him to cycle through his phases quite quickly. Okay. There we go. I think that might be final phase, actually, right now, which I would not be opposed to, by the way. <laughs> uh, circle around, and one more. Get back down here while my owl is still buffed up, please. Not stupid idea. Nope, okay, well. Don't die at the last second. You foolish fool. Okay, there we go. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I really thought that I was going to die there after getting the panacea. That would have been a horribly embarrassing death. But I managed it. Oh, managed to get out of there anyway. Cool. <laughs> yeah, his big, um... I was kind of hoping that it would have been the, the turrets taking him out after that very final um, volley of fire tornadoes. But unfortunately, the tornadoes were taking him out too quickly. Still did enough damage for me to seal the deal, though. Wow. What a run. What a roller coaster of emotions. <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> oh, boy.